welcome back to Roguecraft. Um, so I need a whole bunch of stuff off camera. There's now a ton of stone bricks in the chest. I'm gonna deal with that later. Um, I should put the sand away because I'm not gonna. No, all right, uh, so one of the things I did was I wanted a whole bunch of enchanted stuff. I've got. This is the. Uh, the power bow i had been using. This is another bow I made. It came with un it originally had power three and unbreaking three, and I combined that with the shitty wounded bow with power three on it. So I got power four, and when this gets when the durability on this drops enough so that I can repair so that I'm not wasting any of the durability. I'm gonna fuse it with the other bow and get a bow with power five, and that is gonna hurt. Um, I also got me an iron pickaxe with fortune two. This allows me to mine out blocks, certain blocks like diamonds, and more stuff will come out of it. So I mined out a whole bunch of diamonds, and by a whole bunch, I mean the diamonds that I've intentionally left alone earlier. Um, this is a shitty sort of smite, too, because I needed to... You don't care. Uh, the only way to... If you get a, a list of enchantments that you don't like, the only way to fix it is either enchant something of a different item type, or just enchant something, and that'll re-roll it, but otherwise, you're stuck with what you got. So, I'm... Basically about to do something really stupid. Out of this junk. Oh, that's right. I wanted to do this on camera. Uh, I was fat. Like I said, I was doing a lot of faffing around off screen. I found some uh, some sheep, so I can finally do this. I'm gonna set this up. I'll set this up on the first floor, I guess. Whoa. So the purpose of the bed is twofold. If you sleep in a bed, it will set your respawn point to that bed. This does me no good because I can't ever respawn. I die as game ogre. However, it does let me skip through nighttime. So if I want to be doing shit outside and it gets late, I can just plop down the. I can actually just carry the bed around with me. Plop it down somewhere outside it, when the sun starts to set. Sleep in it and monsters will never spawn. That's convenient. The other thing I'm gonna need... Where the hell is it? Is it in here? No. Where did I put it? I'm confused. Oh, I put- Oh! I'm blind. It's okay, guys. So, going down the stairs. I went and did some poking around down here, and there's still some lava that's buried under the bedrock, but I don't care enough to go find it. So, this area back here. I'm gonna repurpose it. No, it's not everything. Whatever. I'm not down here for the redstone. I will take it, but I'm digging out this particular little area with a specific purpose. Holy shit, more diamonds. Well then. I think you can, uh, See where this is going. So I did something similar to this during the fast forward lava section. 
technically, I only needed to go here. If this pillar here were obsidian, then right here would qualify and right here would qualify as separate portals that lead to the place where I'm going. A portal to the place I'm going must be made out of obsidian. It must be a rectangle. I don't know if it can be uh, parallel to the ground. I might science this sometime. Um, corners don't count. And it's got to be at least three blocks high and at least two blocks wide, not counting the walls. If all these conditions are met, and you light a flint and steel in the interior of the perimeter, that happens. And it starts making hideous noises. Achievement get! We need to go deeper. Welcome to hell. Literally. I'm gonna wait a little bit for shit to start loading. And here we are. I'm gonna wait a little bit more for shit to keep loading. So I'm just going to wait for a little bit for this area to load in. So we're going to be incredibly laggy for a little while here. And those creepy noises you're hearing are because I was within radius of the portal. So here's the deal. We're in hell, also known as the Nether. Um, I'm gonna get me my fortune pick because I want this stuff. This is called Nether Quartz. I don't actually know if. Nope, fortune definitely affects Nether Quartz. The problem with my fortune pick is it's also got efficiency 3. This shit here is called netherrack. I'm gonna put the flint seal away. Netherrack is what makes up the entirety of the nether, with very few exceptions. It is very fragile. It is technically a stone, and so you do need a pickaxe in order to mine it out. If I were to, say, punch it with my fists, I could still break through it, but it won't drop. portal. It is differently sized than what I was expecting, so I'm gonna go jump back through it real quick here. Yeah, those noises? Kind of hideous. Yeah, okay, so... Doesn't matter. First thing I'm gonna do is build myself a box made out of cobblestone. And there are specific reasons for this. Uh, let me think here. I go into the portal. I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm not gonna bother. Why am 
my slow. Oh, because it caps that. So that's another thing about the nether. Sometimes you'll just randomly find lava in the middle of things like that, and it also flows using the behavior for water. Also, the reason I didn't break buckets is you can't drop water in the nether. It won't work. It'll instantly evaporate, and that's why I brought fire protection for helmets, because if I didn't, I would have died. So I'm just gonna regen here. Um, I am gonna take buckets. Originally, I was not going to. It's not exactly what I wanted to do there. rest of this chicken because I really want to be at full health. Especially in case something like that's going to happen again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty this water bucket out since it's not going to matter. And I want my buckets to stack. Is there obsidian down there? No, I'm just... No, there is an obsidian block down there. I don't actually care about it, but it's there. All right, so. Back to the original plan. Now the issue here is there's that lava there. I kind of need that to not be there. So what's going to happen is I'm going to grab that lava and I'm going to annihilate it. Boom! No more lava. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. I still hear lava and that's not great. And I... Shit! Okay, so that little moany noise is not good. That's a sound that one of the natives of the nether makes. Not those guys, those are zombie pigmen, they're awful, but they will... As long as you don't punch them ever, they'll leave you alone. Being said, if I can find the other guy... Uh, this is glowstone, it glows, it's pretty great. I'm gonna take some of it. That little moany sound was a zombie pig man. I, th you, you can get it with fists, but I think it's affected my fortune. I can't tell. It drops a random amount of glowstone, anyways. So I don't think it's. Uh, I might as well, just in case it is affected. As you can kind of see, glowstone tends to generate pretty high up on ceilings. Uh, so another feature of the nether is that it tends to just have fire all over the place. One of the features of nether rack is that if you light a fire on it, it'll never go out. Unless you punch it. So the reason you don't punch these guys is if you punch them, any zombie pigman within like a 64 block radius, it's huge, will turn hostile. 
if you punch any of them, their friends will turn hostile. And it's there's no way to tell which ones are hostile unless you get within aggro range, which is considerably less than the call for aid range. So it's generally best to just leave them alone. Um, one of my runs ended because I accidentally punched a zombie pig man when I was mining, and that was terrible. I don't, however, hear that other thing that I was worried about. Uh, this shit down here is soul sand. It sucks because it slows you down when you're walking on it. That being said, it's needed for something specific, and I will share that when it becomes relevant. I hear... There it is! So you see that asshole way up there? I'm gonna shoot him. I'm gonna try to shoot him at least. I think I killed him. Those are ghasts. They're big, and they shoot fireballs at you. Those fireballs explode. The explosions have a relatively low power, but they hurt. Well, power as an explosion rating, it's not as destructive to the environment as a creeper, but As mentioned, netherrack materials are very soft. Also, they still hurt. Furthermore, they can set the ground on fire. And perhaps most annoying is that a magma cream. I'll explain that in a minute. Uh if a gas explode if a gas fireball explodes within range of a portal, it'll put the portal out, and you'll be trapped, unless you can either get another gas, or perhaps the same one, to relight the portal, or if you happen to have flint and steel on you. Now, you can find gravel in the nether, so you could obtain flint, but if you didn't bring any iron with you to make a flint and steel, Sucks to be you. So you don't mind me, I'm just collecting all this soul sand. My inventory's full, also there is a mushroom. Well, I guess the first thing I'll do is go make the cobble box that I wanted to make. Also, where the hell was the portal? So here's the other problem with the nether, is it's easy to get fucking lost. Oh, there it is. Alright, so I'm gonna disassemble this part of the uh, netherrack here. So if you're using an efficiency enchanted pickaxe, this netherrack here mines out almost instantly. And it's If you get high level efficiency diamond pickaxes, it's possible to mine out netherrack faster than instantly, if that makes any sense at all. So I'm just gonna mine this out so that I can see where my portal is. 
since it's kind of secluded in this little cave here. I don't like that zombie pig man where he is. Oops. Well, broke a pickaxe. That's fine. Let me just scoop up all this nether rack. Anyway, so one of the things I can do is I can push Zambi Pigman. I don't know if I want to go down there. I'm gonna do this. 